we are going to implement a commerce rule in this program Octave. Uh, so let's dig into it. So this is an example I pick up from a book, a geometry book that I had from a long time, Algebra and Trigonometry. And the equation is the following, right? X plus Y plus Z equals 2 x minus y plus z equals negative 2 2 x plus y z equals 1 so how do we implement this in in um, in an octave so let's enter okay uh, we're going to clear all. Okay, so, and we're going to say the following D equals, and we're going to enter uh, the following co coefficients. We're going to enter the following coefficients in order, right, from the equation. Right, so here's our equation here. So we're gonna enter parentheses uh, here. Right, parentheses, then we go one space one space one semicolon and then the second one is one minus one one semicolon and the second one is two space one one okay so that's the first one right so and we're gonna ca a copy this one to original D equals D okay so I make a copy of that and then we're going to say dx equals or d, right? And we're going to say dy equals or d, right? And we're going to say dz equals or d, right? And then we're going to say b equals this is where we're going to substitute the values right that's where we had the this two negative two and one that's what we're going to call b right so two semicolon minus two semicolon one right square bracket right and then what do we get then we got 2 minus 2 and 1 right so now let's see one by one so D is our original matrix right so which one and then DX is the same Uy is the same and dz is the same, right? Okay, so we got all that. Now we are gonna put it in the dx column, we're gonna substitute 2 minus 2 and 1, so we're gonna say dx right d dx equals parentheses this comma first row And the 
first. So that's the same. All the rows in the first column, it's going to be equals B, right? So, enter, right? So that's DX, right? Now we're going to do the same thing for DY, but Y here, and it's going to be the second column right and then we say right so you see how it's changing here so this is for x this is for y and this is for z so now we say same thing dz and column 3 this all rows column 3 equals B right now what we get okay so we have our we have our DX right 2 minus 2 and we have our DY 2 minus 2 and 1 and the other ones remain the same so we made a copy of the original and now we are changing column by column now we say X We take care of variable x or x x capital x or x let's do capital x equals the determinant of dx we're going to make it all in one operation and divided by the determinant of the original right yes so what do we get here we get negative one right then we're gonna say y is equal to the determinant of dy divided by the determinant of D. Right. We get two. Then we repeat it. And except that we change this to Z. And we say D of Z equals divided by that. Okay, so we got X is minus one y is 2 and z is 1 okay we're done so now let's verify so let's go back to our problem and let's verify so let's call it a variable verify 1 verify 1 equals what was the equation x plus y plus z equals 2 x plus y plus z what do we get? 2 is it true? yes it's true 2 so we verify that one and let verify the second one verify Two equals X minus Y plus Z. What do we get? Minus two. Is it true? Minus two. There we go. And then we say verify three equals two times x plus y plus z is equal to one is it equal to one 
equal to 1. So we have our our values calculated here, minus 1, y2, and z equals 1. So we have verified. So this is how you do karma's rule in octave.